And the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? All right. For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth this light bread. Okay. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. Okay, stop. Last. We, we said these fiery serpents were called seraphim, right? I want you guys to also notice that for you who are studying in the comedic, you notice you see the word right there in the, mid, in the middle of seraphim? Well, he said these fiery serpents, the, the holy ones, these are called angels. Netiru. Elohim. And what happened? What did they do to the people? They started biting. Biting the people. Biting the people. Then what happened? Much people of Israel died. Did they get sick? No, they died. God sent this fiery serpent among these people. They bit the the serpents bit the people. And they died. Do you think that's what happened? In a literal sense? God sent serpents and he killed people with them? No. For the people to be reborn again for God, what do they have to do? They have to die. They have to die. The same way you have to die. To be what? Born again. Born again. So these people die in the spiritual sense because for one, they were against God. And they were against who? Moses. Against God and Moses. So can they be for God? No. That that man has to do what? Has to die. That man has to die. So now God is going to send also tell Moses to do what? What did he tell Moses to do? Go ahead, brother. All right. And the people speak against God and against Moses. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Mm -hmm. For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loafeth this light bread. Okay. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people. Mm -hmm. And much people of Israel died. Okay. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoke against the Lord and against thee. Mm -hmm. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the, the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. Stop. Make what? A fiery serpent, uh -huh. and set it upon a pole. All right. So look up here. This is what Moses made, right? Is that the fiery serpent? He sent the fiery serpent among the pole. This is also the medical symbol, right? Actually, this is what it looked like. But after it was adopted later on through the Greeks, after they took the story, Converted the story, the story looked like, the, the symbol looked like this. Also looks like this.
this. This is also a story in other people's culture. And this is not what you think it is. It's talking about something that's dealing with the human body. Also, it looks like this. Of these one, two, three, four, five, six wings. Now the wings reside where? Up in the mind of man, right? So God's thinking is now, man's thinking is now what? God's thinking, right? You see how you got all of these different symbols of this story in the book of Exodus? And people for thousands of years, even before this book was written, were already using this symbols and knew about this. This is a science. This is not a story you're reading in the book. The story is a story about a science. The science of healing. There's another one. Going to six wings of the serpent going up, and the man has the crown. Now when I came across this one, this is also the same story. Everybody got it? You say, well, Brother Fahim, how is this the same story? Here's the crown. This is a comic book character that your children play with. Here's the wings and here's the crown. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six chakras that make Thor up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So do you see where in your comic books they know the science? And your child is watching this show and the show is full of science. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six wings of the angels. This is, this is the crown. Now he has become a superhero. All your superheroes is talking about them coming up above human and becoming superhuman. So Thor represents that crown with the wings saying that he's one of the sons of God one of the angels one, two, three, four, five, six it's the same thing so God told Moses to put a serpent on a pole that serpent on a pole represents this vertebrae in your back, the wireless circuits in your system. And now this system can either heal or can call illness. But God said, well, I was going to send these serpents out because the, kid, the people don't believe in me. They're even against me. They're even against my prophet, my Elohim, my, my God that I sent. They're against Aram, the prophet, his brother. 
So let me show you how powerful I am. I'll send these angels down in the form of seraphim. They will bite you and kill you. And the only way that you can come back to me or come back to life is for what? Beg Moses what? Pray to God. What does it say, brother? Go ahead and read it. Pray what? Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he takes away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. They shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. And the children of Israel set forward and pitched in or both. Okay. Now, does everybody understand what this is talking about now? Do you see that this symbol is an ancient symbol? And while people are trying to divide you into different religions, don't you see that this symbol can be taught in any religion? Don't you realize that your doctors are wearing this symbol? That Moses put the serpent on a pole? I just show you with Thor, the comic book character, that this is the same thing. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to show it to you a different way. There's the wings at the top, right? <coughs> Thor's wings are at the top, at the crown. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. But what you can't see is that on these little circles here is the circle of yin and yang, of duality. Hot and cold, in and out. The opposite principle. So he's trying to explain to you while your child is playing with the action figure, you don't know what's going on. But this symbol goes all the way back to Tahuti. It goes back to ancient Kemet. It goes back to Michael. Every culture has taken this concept of Michael and called him Apollo, called him Hermes, called him Tahuti, called him Thoth. It's the same principle in every religion. And the one who sends this information down is that angel, that seraphim that comes down upon man. Now, Go to the book of Isaiah. Six and one through seven. Let's go over that one more time before I move on. 